Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, at this time, um, may I begin the proceedings. Well, you're muted, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, yes. you there? Yes, go ahead, please. Okay, great. Uh, just going to be beginning the uh, presentation on the uh, hearings for June 4th, 2020, the Board of Liquor License Commissioners for Baltimore City. Uh, I'm going to quickly go through how to access the WebEx platform. Uh, we have a link and a code that's set up uh, so that all members of the public below, um, and it's below under to participate in the WebEx meetings, members of the public will have to download the WebEx app uh, through the smartphones or click on the following link to access the hearing online. Here is the link for the hearing, the access code, and the password. If you're going to be using a smartphone or, or iPhone or um, computer and ask that you uh, verify that your camera is working and you can open your camera and open your audio. Because if you can't open your camera, we cannot see you. And if you're going to be giving testimony, you need to be sworn in. If you're a member of the general public that does not have access to a computer or a smartphone or similar device, there is a phone number listed below and an access code, and you can listen in to the hearings. Uh, the materials and evidence and related items for this docket, copies of the short docket, which provide a brief description of the cases before the board and the long docket can all be found on our hyperlink, which is llb.baltimorecity.gov slash hearings slash schedule. Uh, there is a 48 hour rule uh, for evidence for online hearings. All evidence to be considered by the board can be found in the long docket. The board will be accepting evidence from any party up until 48 hours before 11 a.m. on Thursday, June 4th. Uh, all evidence needs to be submitted before that time. If evidence is submitted to the board later than this date, it cannot be accepted by the board. All the information needs to be the with the board 48 hours beforehand. Uh, related items, amendments to applications uh, made by applicants or the representatives cannot be accepted until ap cannot be accepted after May 21st, 2020. For all cases to be heard today, uh, if uh, any applicants attempt to amend applications before the board today, they will be automatically postponed. Just the procedures, and this is brief. Sit next to me. Just the, I'm going over the procedures. Did we lose Mr. Akers' audio? I don't hear anything. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. Did uh, I go out? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, calling of the docket, the case hearing board will provide an opportunity for the applicant or his or her representative to present the case to the board. The board may ask questions to the attorney or the applicant. On conclusion of the case, the chairman will ask individuals who are on the call uh, if they would like to testify in support or opposition of the applicant, please note if you are a member of the public that uh, you'll have to use the raise your hand function and then I'll pull you from the attendee list into the panelist list so that you can testify. After all the testimony evidence is presented to the board, the board will then vote on the application before them. Uh, the assistant executive secretary will then read all the exhibits into the record. The board is not authorized to discuss non-case related matters. Let's proceed. Mr. Go Chair, ahead. did you say I'm sorry, sir? No, go ahead, please. Um, uh, just the general ground rules. Uh, we put these out before, and I would just uh, note that no amendments can be made at the hearing. Um, and please speak slowly and in a clear voice so that the court reporter understands exactly what is being said and who is saying it. Uh, please note that if you are going to be giving testimony, I state again, turn on your camera, turn on your audio so the uh, court reporter can see you. Uh, with that, Mr. Chair, may I please call the first case? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, this is going to be the regular items. This will be Peter Warren, David Bramble, Y56BWA Operator LLC. Trading, uh, trade name is pending, 5601 Eastern Avenue, known as 517 Bayview Boulevard. It's a class BD7 beer, wine, and liquor license. 
an application to transfer ownership and location of a class BD7 beer, wine, and liquor license presently located at 3607 Fleet Street to 5601 Eastern Avenue. Um, if just you give me one moment, I'm going to be bringing in Ms. Hecker and uh, her client. Ms. Hecker, are you there? Yes, good morning. Caroline Hecker, Rosenberg, Martin Greenberg here on behalf of the applicant. I think our individual licensee applicant, David Bramble, is also on. I am. Right, let's uh, let's have Mr. Uh, Bramble sworn, please. <laughs> Mr. Bramble, can you turn on your video? There we go. Okay. Can you see me? Uh, yes, now I can. Can you raise your right hand, sir? Do you swear or affirm on the penalties of perjury that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth? Yes. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Chairman, with your permission, I'd like to proceed by way of a proffer. Uh, I sent over to the Liquor Board on Monday afternoon a series of exhibits, which I think you should all have in front of you. And with your permission, I'll walk through them. And then Mr. Bramble and I are certainly available to answer any questions that you all may have. If we've received the exhibits and we're familiar with the legislative history, but uh, you may proceed. Okay, thanks. Um, I I'm glad to know that you are familiar with the legislative history. This is a little bit unusual. This is uh, the transfer of a BD7 license uh, from 3607 Fleet Street to the New Yard 56 development on Eastern Avenue. The transfer of this license is specifically authorized by the state legislature in um, Alcoholic Beverages Article Section 12902.1. Unfortunately, in the 2020 legislative session, um, there this the, the specific provision that authorizes this transfer was accidentally deleted. Um, it was brought to our attention at the very end of the legislative session, which ended sort of abruptly due to the, the COVID-19 situation. And we were assured that it would be rectified in a special session in May when the legislature came back and that it wouldn't be an issue. Unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 situation, the legislature did not have a special session in May. And um, as a result, the provision that, that deletes this uh, authorization for this transfer will go into effect on July 1st. And so, we are now under the gun to get this license transferred prior to July 1st so that um, we don't lose it altogether. I've included in the file the, in the exhibits that you should have a copy of the, the law that authorizes the transfer, as well as Senate Bill 69, which was the, the um, bill that accidentally in, inadvertently deleted this um, authorization. Uh, we intend to ultimately transfer the license to a new space at 5701A Fleet Street, which is within the Yard 56 project. But we're going to do this in two steps because of, of this, uh, this legislative problem. Um, so for now, this application is to transfer the license to a new space at 517 Bayview Boulevard, also within the Yard 56 district. Uh, the existing license was originally issued for 3607 Fleet Street. It was Quest Bar in, in Highland Town. Um, it closed in 2014, at which time the former licensee applied to the Liquor Board to transfer the license. That transfer application has been pending since that time, and this is an amendment to the pending transfer application. The new premises will be located in Yard 56, which is a mixed-use project located on the former PEMCO site in Greek Town. Um, there's a couple of exhibits in the file that talk a little bit about the, the project itself. It will include a residential component as well as a streets market grocery store, an LA Fitness, a Chipotle, and a Panda Express. Um, this particular licensed premises will ultimately be adjacent to the grocery store at 5701A Fleet Street. Uh, but as I said, for now, we're going to transfer it um, to an interim location at 517 Bayview Boulevard. I've included in the file the address exhibit that's been approved by the city with the various tenant addresses within the project. You can see that the, the interim address 517 Bayview Boulevard is located directly across the street from the future address of 5701A Fleet Street. 
Um, the reason, as I said, is because the 5701 in Fleet Street won't be finished with construction prior to the July 1st deadline for transferring this, whereas the space at 517 Baby Boulevard is further along, we can move the license there um, on an interim basis and then ultimately apply to transfer it to its, its ultimate destination at 5701 in Fleet Street. Uh, we are intending to convert or exchange this license for a class A7 license and to that end the City Council has approved resolution number 200233R which authorizes the exchange of the BD7 license for a class A7 license. Um, Mr. Bramble who's on the phone today is uh, the developer of the project. He's the, the principal of MCB Real Estate which is the developer um, he's also a Baltimore City resident, and while he won't be um, overseeing the day-to-day -day operations of the licensed premises, he is familiar with the rules and regulations of the Liquor Board and pledges to abide by them. It is certainly in his interest to maintain this as a first-class establishment because he wants to make sure that the other tenants are not negatively impacted uh, within the project. The transfer of the license does meet the criteria to approve um, the transfer of the license. Uh, there is a public need and desire for the license as demonstrated by the fact that the PUD that governs the Yard 56 project specifically authorizes a package goods store at this location that was approved by the City Council in uh, Ordinance 18-175. We don't expect there to be any negative impact on existing licensees. Uh, there are no other liquor stores proposed within the project. The closest two are located on the other side of Ponca Street, which is, are far enough away that we don't expect there to be any negative impact on them. Um, and as a result, this will create a uniqueness of services within the Yard 56. And we don't expect there to be any negative impact on health, safety, or welfare. Um, as I said, Mr. Bramble is the developer of the project, and it's certainly in his interest to make sure that the operation of this license doesn't have any negative impact on other tenants within the project. Uh, for these reasons, we would respectfully request that the board approve the transfer of the license to the interim location at 517 Baby Boulevard and to approve the exchange of the license for an A7 license pursuant to this. Um, well, the um, the, when, when will it be opening? Do you know? I beg your pardon? Do you know when it will be opening? Um, Mr. Bramble may be better equipped to, to answer that. I think we're targeting fall of this year, um, depending obviously on construction. Uh, I don't know the exact date. That's that's correct. It's a fall. It's the target is fall, but obviously, given the current pandemic, things are uh, in flux. But uh, we're still targeting fall. Mr. Bramble, do you anticipate hiring a manager for it? Yes, we will. And so your manager and your alcohol handling staff will all be certified? Yes. Okay. Um, and I think, Ms. Hecker, you said you were asking for the approval of the license conversion, but is that before us now? I thought just the location. Uh, technically, it's just the transfer. I just want to make sure that we put on the record that we are proposing to exchange it. The exchange for the A7 license is an administrative action that technically doesn't require a hearing before the board, but I want to make sure that we're at least clear. That that's we're aware of it. Okay. Do commissioners have questions? I don't have any. Mr. Greenfield? No questions. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, did the public have comments? At this time, uh, if there's anybody who would like to uh, testify on this matter, can you please use the raise your hand function? Mr. Chairman, uh, I don't see anybody that wants to testify on this matter. Okay. So, Ms. Hecker, as usual, you've given us a very comprehensive set of documents and explanation. Uh, I think that's probably the reason for so few questions or comments. Uh, on the basis of all these materials contained in the application, as well as the exhibits received, uh, your proffer and the testimony received, I'd vote to approve uh, the application to transfer the location of this BD7 license uh, to 517 Bayview Boulevard as requested. Upon the review of the evidence and testimony presented before the board, I also vote to approve your application before the board. Commissioner Guy. Yeah, I too uh, join my colleagues uh, based on the testimony and proffered by council. I approve the transfer of ownership and location of this BD7 license uh, to, uh, excuse me, 517 Bayview Boulevard. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Michael, exhibits for the record, African Exhibit 1, business plan exhibits A through H. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Ms. Hecker, Mr. Bramble, you will be receiving uh, notification from our office as, as to the next steps, documents that you'll need to provide us with in order to complete the transfer application. That'll be sent in the mail. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Calling the next case, George Marr Heritage Smokehouse LLC, trading as Heritage Smokehouse, 5800 York Road. Uh, this is a class BD7 beer wine liquor license and application to transfer ownership. I'm going to just give me a moment. I'm going to bring those parties in. Yes, good morning, Mr. Ackers, Mr. Chairman. Uh, hold on for one second. I'm trying to get Mr. Marsh to come up as a panelist. Uh, if you're having any trouble doing so, we're actually sitting in the same room, so we can, we yeah, can do that. If you are, I would ask that Mr. Marsh shut off his phone. That's why we're getting the feedback, because he's just okay. on his phone. And, we'll use the uh, same monitor. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, just use the same monitor, and that way uh, he'll be able to be sworn in. Okay, Mr. Boozer, please identify yourself for the record. Uh, Frank Boozer, Mr. Chairman, for the record, on behalf of Heritage Smokehouse, LLC. And uh, with the reporter, please swear, Mr. Marsh. Um, Mr. Boozer, can you please turn on the camera on your um, laptop? Is it on? Yes. Okay. Mr. Marsh, can you raise your right hand? Turn my camera back on to see. Uh, do you swear or affirm out of the penalties of perjury the testimony you're about to give true and correct investment knowledge information? Yes. Okay, Mr. Booster, you want to tell us about this application? And we do have a letter of support from the York Road Partners. Yes, as well as the uh, menu and um, a MOU is uh, correct, you, Mr. Chairman. That's Mr. Right. Chairman, Mr. Marsh has had quite a lot of uh, experience in the restaurant area in Baltimore. Um, at first, uh, he worked at Woodbury Kitchen, and then he managed for a couple of years and operated uh, Parts and Labor, which is well known to the board. Uh, this is his first business venture, and it's an interesting vis uh, business venture. He lives just over Northern Parkway, uh, south of Annesley in the Lake Walker. Lake Walker neighborhood. So he is part of this neighborhood. He, uh, he can walk to work. Um, it's going to be a barbecue uh, smokehouse restaurant um, with uh, approximately how many seats does that measure, Marsh? Uh, 60. Uh, approximately 60 seats, and they're offering uh, to go barbecue as well. Um, they will have no separate uh, packaged goods uh, to go available to customers. So the board need not worry about that. Um, this is quite frankly a dream of his. Uh, ever since working in the restaurant industry all his life, he's able to finally open his own place in the neighborhood uh, where he lives. Um, the hours are going to be from 5 o'clock till 10 or 11 o'clock at night, uh, depending on the need in the weekend. Um, Mr. Marsh has already taken in the past, will, re uh, will renew if necessary. His TAMA alcohol certification will make sure that any employees involved in the sale of alcohol beverages are also certified. Um, in addressing the MOU with U, uh, Ro York Road Partnership and the letter attached to the uh, MOU, you can tell that the neighborhood and the businesses uh, involved in the York Road Partnership are quite excited for him to open a new restaurant. Um, and he has an incredible rapport uh, with the community. Of course, he lives in the community. Um, so he, he willing to in terms of the MOU be a restriction on his license? Mr. Marsh, you're willing to abide by the terms of the MOU. And in addition to that, you're willing to abide by the terms um, as attached to your license. Is that correct? Yes. OK, thank you. Um, unless the board has any questions, that's all I have. Uh, commissioners have any questions? No questions. Mr. No, no questions. 
Okay, does the public have any comment? Okay. At this time, if you're a member of the public, could you please raise your hand using the raise your hand function? Mr. Chairman, uh, no one is using that raise your hand function. And we will proceed on the basis of the materials contained in the application. The uh, exhibits received, including the MOU from the York Road Partnership and other exhibits, council and testimony received. I vote to approve the transfer of this BD7 license uh, as applied subject to the terms of that MOU to the extent they're enforceable by law. Commissioners? Upon review of the evidence and, and with the testimony that was presented here before the board this morning, I also vote to approve the, the application for the transfer. Based upon the uh, proffer from uh, Mr. Boozer and the record before us, I too would approve the transfer of ownership uh, subject to the terms of the MOU to the extent they're enforceable by law. Thank you, good luck. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Let me call exhibits for the record. Applicant Exhibit 1, letter of support from York Road Partnership, dated 5 26 20. Applicant Exhibit number 2, menu. Applicant Exhibit number 3, MOU. Thank you. Uh, and I believe Mr. Boozer kind of signed off, but uh, just for the record, we'll be sending Mr. Boozer and his client um, documentation of the next steps in order to complete the transaction. Calling the next case. Brandon Door, Middle Zoo Beverage LLC, trading as Dutch Courage 2229 North Charles Street. is a class BD7 beer, wine, and liquor license. Request to add outdoor table service, off premise catering, and delivery of alcoholic beverages. I'm going to pull in Mr. Hurdle and his client, um, Mr. Door. Mr. Hurdle, or should you should be coming online, and Mr. Door, you should be as well. Hello, Mr. Hurdle. I'm here. Yes, absolutely. Can you see me and hear me? Yeah, we yes. can hear you, Hurdle. Identify yourself for the record. Uh, Abraham Hurdle, on behalf of Middle Zoo Beverage Group LLC, trading as Dutch Courage at 2229 North Charles Street. Thank you. Would the reporter swear, Mr. Door, please? Mr. Door, can you raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm the, the testimony you're about to give is the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Hurdle, so this is an existing uh, BD7 operation that wants to add outdoor table service? That's correct. And delivery, I believe, is something that we asked for during this, yes. And what's the, what is the plan? Um, there should be a diagram in there. They have a back patio, and I, I submitted some drawings the other day, mm -hmm. uh, so some seating plans. Okay. Uh, and Mr. Chair, I apologize. Uh, I I'd sent an email out maybe a couple of minutes ago. Um, Ms. Russell had just forwarded me that email. Mr. Hurdle had sent these plans on Tuesday. So. Okay. Um, so you just want to describe it to us or have Mr. Doerr describe it to us, please? Um, well, I can describe it. There's a back patio area that's fully enclosed, and they're going to take that fully enclosed area, and they're going to put seats out back. About how many? I think from their diagram, using the social distancing plan, it appears to be about 30, 32. That's if they do just table service for the time being. I anticipate there will be more seating um, in the future when things shift. Okay, and this is all going to be operated pursuant to the guidelines for COVID-19? Correct. This is not a temporary permit. This is our kind of permanent permit. We put this back in in February, I believe. Um, but they do also have a plan in place for temporary seating as well. Yes. And they're going to be cooperating with all the rules, masks, gloves, social distancing. Are they going to be hiring additional staff? Right now, I believe their staff is pretty lean from what it has been in the last couple months. Um, but they will be adding staff to accommodate the shift in their business flow. And the additional staff will be HIP certified? Yes. That's the plan, yes. Um, ministers have questions? 
Um, I don't have any questions other than um, you know that the Charles Village Community Association supports, although that's from a February 8th letter. I assume, Mr. Hurdle, that they also would have or that they wouldn't have any opposition to this. So that letter is in support of, I believe, this um, application. We put this application again a while back, and it's been through no fault of anybody, just the whole situation. It's been just kind of pushed off for a few months. Um, my belief is that that letter does apply to this. We do have support for them for the last time we were at the board, because this is an existing license. Um, so yes, my belief is they're absolutely in support. We've had great right. feedback from the community. Great. My apologies then. I did, wasn't aware that that letter was for this specific application, specific application for outdoor seating. Um, but thank you. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Commissioner, do I have any questions? Uh, no, I don't have any other questions on this. Public have comments? Let me, uh, at this time, if any member of the public would like to uh, provide testimony, please use the raise your hand function. Mr. Chairman, no one has their hand to testify. Okay, we will proceed then. On the basis of the materials contained in the application and the exhibits which have just uh, now been emailed to us, we've had a chance to look at the diagram, etc. Uh, and the uh, proper from counsel and testimony received, I'd vote to approve the uh, request to add outdoor table service, off-premise catering, and delivery of alcoholic beverages for this BD7 license. Sure. Upon review of the evidence and the testimony presented before the board, uh, I also vote to approve the application uh, for the addition of outdoor tables, service, and off-premise catering, and the delivery of the alcohol uh, beverage. The proffer of Mr. Hurdle, I too would join my colleagues in approving table service, off-premise catering, and delivery of alcoholic beverages. Thank you. I'm called Zippers for the record. Applicant Zippers 1, floor plane. And um, Mr. Hurdle, um, Mr. Doerr, please note that you'll be receiving documentations via mail as to the next steps to complete your application. Okay. Thank uh, you. Mr. Hurdle, will Mr. Kodinsky be using your um, iPad? Probably. Okay. So can I leave you on as a panelist? Yes. Okay, great. And uh, Mr. Kadinsky, just to verify, you have cases number four and five on the docket, correct? That's correct. That's correct. All right. Turn, turn your volume off. So you can get rid of that echo, Mr. Kadinsky. Can you please shut your iPad off? How's okay, that? Great. Yep. I help when I can. Yep. You're fine. Thank you, sir. Calling the next case, uh, Lee Hitz and Regina Merritt, LL Pro Hospitality, Baltimore LLC, trading as a revival at Mount Vernon Place, 612 Cathedral Street, is a class B beer, wine and liquor, hotel, motel license. It's an application of transfer ownership with continuation of live entertainment, requesting off-premise catering. You just give me a moment. I'm going to pull those applicants up. I think I can just leave. Mm -hmm. Ms. Hitz, Ms. Merritt, you uh, should Hello? be panelists. Hello. Can you please turn your cameras on just to make sure who can see you? Great. I see you, Ms. Merritt. Yes. Okay. Do we have everyone? Uh, Mr. Kadensky, will you identify yourself for the record, please? For the record, Melvin J. Kadensky, 320 North Charles Street. And how are you? Well, it was not nice, but I beat it, and I'm still here, and Chucky's back in town. And your wife, I hope, is doing okay as well. She's actually doing better than me, and she's older than I am. Good. Glad to hear it. So, uh, would the reporter please uh, square the ladies who are going to testify? All witnesses, please raise your right hand. You swear or affirm under the penalties of perjury. Yes, Ms. Hitz, please raise your right hand. You swear or affirm under the penalties of perjury that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth. 
Yes. Uh, is it just going to be the one witness? All right, uh, Mr. <coughs> Nancy. This is um, essentially it's the same LLC has operated the uh, hotel, and uh, you may be familiar with it. They had, did a complete renovation a few years ago in uh, Mount Vernon Place. Uh, there's a change in the uh, corporate entity um, from uh, change in within there. Uh, Miss Hitt's going to take over for Tracy Peretti. She's had um, experience in uh, the business, having worked in uh, Denver in the hotel business uh, for approximately 10 years. The um, particular location has 107 rooms. Um, it's open as a rooftop um, uh, restaurant up there. All the people staff serving uh, will be alcohol uh, certified. Um, there will be uh, Miss uh, Merritt um, will not, you know, she's a city resident. She may be on premises at times. Um, the other applicant will be uh, on a premises um, at least during the once or twice a month. Uh, having uh, come in, and most uh, all the managers will also be um, uh, certified. And, and otherwise, nothing's going to change. No, nothing else is going to change. No. Uh, do the commissioners have questions? No questions, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Guy. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, um, let's find, is Commissioner Guy there? Uh, Commissioner Guy is on the call right now. Commissioner Guy? Seems to have lost him. Hold on. Hold on for one second, Commissioners. He's still on uh, on the call. Commissioner Guy, are you on the call, sir? Uh, we do have two commissioners present. We do have a quorum. I do would we, agree to, to go forward with the two commissioners if that's appropriate. All right. Then. Do we have public comment, Tom? At this time, if any member of the public would like to uh, present testimony in this case, please use the raise your hand function. Uh, Mr. Chairman, no one has used that raise your hand function. Okay, thank you. On the basis of the materials contained in the application, proffers from council, and any testimony received, uh, I'd vote to approve the transfer of ownership of this uh, uh, Class B license with continued live entertainment and off premise catering. I join uh, the chairman based upon uh, Mr. Kadensky's proffer. And Mr. Kadensky, it's great to see you and see you doing well. Uh, thank you. Two would vote to approve the transfer of ownership with continuation of live entertainment from catering. I assume Commissioner Guy has not rejoined us, so I think that will do it. Uh, I, uh, Mr. Chair, I just spoke to Commissioner Guy. He's just trying to get reconnected to the internet, sir. Okay. Well, I think there's no there's no exhibits for the record. All right. Let's let's move to the next case. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, and um, Mr. Kudinski, you will be getting information in the mail as to the next steps on how to complete the transfer. Thank you. Uh, next case is Nia Banks and Aderonke Amotade, 821 Two Keys LLC, trading as Art of Balance Wellness Spa, 801 Key Highway, Unit 2. This is a class B7 year one in liquor license and application of transfer ownership and location of a class bd7 year one in liquor license presently located at 2231 sedley street to 801 key highway unit two and is this mr kadensky's case yep. as well yes mr. Mm -hmm. Stuffing, please. i'm i'm here yeah would you identify yourself please for the record for the record melvin j kadensky 320 north charleston Thank you. And I've made Ms. Omatade and Ms. Banks uh, panelists, so they should be coming on. I see Ms. Omatade. 
morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, let's have the reporter swear them, please. Raise your right hand, please. Swear or affirm under the penalties of perjury. Testimony about to give the true and correct. I do. I do. Good morning, ladies. Uh, so, Good morning. Nancy, you want to proceed, please? Yeah, yes, I will. This is a, a really nice uh, transfer and a nice um, addition to the Ritz Carlton. Um, the license is coming from Sedley Street, which uh, is in Westport, and which is that whole area is going down. And these two ladies uh, open up a spa. They've been open there for a while. They have about 6,000 square feet. Um, they um, want to add this BD7 as an amenity uh, to their um operation uh they um are have all their staff that's going to be um serving uh, alcohol uh, certified um it's a nice from the point of view is that they're usually closed by nine or ten o'clock and uh between the two of them uh they will both be on the premises all time and if they have a manager uh they would uh, go ahead and um make sure that um manager is certified they're going to uh, they're familiarized that they are familiarized themselves the rules and records regulations of the liquor board uh, one of the parties has had um, experience had working uh, for the four seasons um, they've talked to all the people in the ritz carlton and uh, they're really enthused about having this added uh, to the spa they have there uh, and since now the the governor seems fit to re re relax more i think this is a really inappropriate time to go ahead and have this uh, transfer completed when do they think they would be uh, in business there? They're in business there now. Oh, prior okay. to the prior to the COVID, and okay. now they, they're getting ready to go up. Mm -hmm. Understood. So now they just want to add the license. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Do the commissioners have questions? I, I, the only question I have is: this is the first time, I guess, in about four years that I've heard that I recall a uh, spa having um, a liquor license. Uh, is this something that's that's common? You know, I, I, we did one for is it GQ QG? Okay, and yeah, we did it for them down on on Calvert Street, and I think that's something you're seeing in a lot of these things to be able to offer an, uh, an amenity to the people. Well, I know it's not me. <laughs> I don't know somebody's child in the background. So, Mr. Kadensky, it. It, this is not a package good operation though right oh oh no i mean it, on a rare occasion if somebody would order you know a case of opus red or something that uh, somebody would want but i just they're not going to have any package goods area um although opus red is very expensive in case you all know uh, always learning something new um do the commissioners have any other questions no questions i have done Okay. Uh, did the have comments? Um, does anybody on uh, the member of the public uh, wish to give testimony in this case? Please use the raise your hand function. Chairman, uh, I see no one wants to give testimony in this matter. Okay. Uh, thank you. On the basis then of the materials contained in the application, the proper counsel. Uh, and any test is received, I would vote to approve the application to transfer the ownership and location of BD7 license here from 801 P Highway Unit 2. Upon a review of the evidence and testimony presented before the board, I also vote to approve the application before the board. Uh, I, uh, based upon Mr. Kadensky's proffer and the uh, evidence before us, I too would join my colleagues in approving the transfer of ownership and location of this BD7 license to 801 Key Highway Unit 2. Uh, good luck to the applicant. Thank you. Thank you. No exhibits for the record. Uh, Mr. Kadinsky, please note that we will be sending you uh, materials on how to complete this uh, transfer application in the mail. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, the next case. Uh, Trent Wheat, Red Star Fells Point, LLC, trading as the Red Star, 
906 South Wolf Street is a class B beer wine local license and application to transfer ownership. Give me a moment. I'll uh, pull in the attorney and his client. Mr. Fulton, are you there? I am. Thank you very much. Getting a lot of feedback here. That should be better. Mr. Fogelman, are you there? I am. Um, whoops. Uh, yes. Morning. And his client? Yes. I'm joined by applicant Trent Waite and by general manager of the establishment, um, Nicole Sheckles. Okay. Good morning. Would you identify yourself for the record, please, Mr. Fogelman? Thank you very much. Stephen W. F Stephen W. Fogelman on behalf of the applicant. And would the reporter please swear the applicant? Yes. Uh, Lucy, to testify, please raise your right hand. Okay, I, I got my right hand, what do you want? Raise your right hand. Okay. Do you swear or affirm on the penalties of perjury that the testimony you're about to give is the truth? Yes. Thank you, sir. Mr. Fogelman, you want a proffer for us? Yes, thank you very much, um, Your Honor. This is a change of city resident only. The LLC will remain the same. The management of the establishment ownership will remain the same. Mr. Wade is coming on as a corporate secretary with no ownership uh, in order to facilitate the city residency requirement. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. Uh, and he lives... <laughs> At 126 South Patterson Park Avenue. 126. I'm sorry, I don't know who's speaking. Who's speaking? Hello. <laughs> Lex. Who's so, speaking? Mute your phones. If you are on, please mute. Someone's interfering with here. Let's go. Let's go back to where we were. So, uh, address and um, the commissioners have questions for this. Hello. So hello. Some. It's Mr. Del Basso off our line. Yeah, I've got Mr. Del Basso. Commissioners, do you have questions? No questions, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Guy. Commissioner. Commissioner. Mr. Akras, we are not getting Commissioner Guy. Um, Commissioner Guy is uh, unmuted. You should be able to speak. Yeah, I'm here. Do you have questions? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Does the public have comment? At this time, if any member of the public wishes to raise their hand, please use the raise your hand function. Mr. Chair, no one has raised their hand to testify. Okay. On the basis of the materials containing the application, the proper counsel and the testimony received, both to approve the application to transfer uh, ownership of license to the new um, resident member uh, as, as requested. Upon the review of, of the evidence and the testimony presented before the board, I also vote to, to approve the transfer of the ownership. I join my colleagues based upon the uh, profit from Mr. Fogelman and the evidence before us to would approve the transfer of ownership. Good luck. Thank you. No, is it is for the record. Uh, Mr. Fogelman, please note you're going to be sent um, information via mail 
on the uh, transfer of ownership. Okay. Thank you. Calling the next case on the docket: Ronald Howard, Waterfront Fells Point LLC, trading as Waterfront Hotel, one seven one zero Tame Street. It's a Class BD seven Pier one liquor license. It's an application to transfer ownership with continuation of live entertainment and outdoor cable service. Who's here on this case? Mr. Fogelman? Uh, yes. This, I'm this is your case, sir. Will you identify yourself for the record, please? Uh, I, I'm, 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 uh, audio connection, audio only mute. Mr. Fogelman. Please unmute me. Can you write that down? You are unmuted, sir. Um, Mr. Fogelman, you are unmuted. Uh, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, now. I'm sorry. I see the, uh, the the slash to the microphone. My apologies. Okay. Please identify. All right. Okay, thank you. I am joined by Mr. Ronald Howard. This is Stephen W. Fogelman on behalf of the applicant. Let's swear, Mr. Howard, please. Mr. Howard, do you swear or affirm under the penalties of perjury that the testimony you're about to give is the truth? Yeah. Thank you. All right, Mr. Howard, you want to Yes, I do. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Howard is also uh, the uh, a replacement city resident for the applicant in this case. It is the same LLC, the same management. I am also joined here today by Lisa DeSantis, the general manager of the establishment, who can answer any questions you may have. Mr. Howard serves as the corporate secretary with zero percent we have uh other than the change in city resident nothing else is changing no nothing else is changing at all lisa DeSantis, like i say is still general manager all the uh, same alcohol management plans are in effect and no changes to the uh to any accessory or expansion of the building commissioners have questions no questions i have no questions all right do the public have comments uh if any member of the public wishes to provide testimony on this matter, please use the raise your hand function. Mr. Chairman, I see no individuals that want to give testimony in this matter. Okay, thank you. On the basis of the materials contained in the application and the proper from council with respect to this change in city resident, um, I would vote to approve the application to transfer ownership with continued live entertainment and outdoor cable services. Upon the review of the evidence and the testimony presented before the board, I also vote to approve the application for the transfer of ownership with continuation of live entertainment and outdoor table service. Based upon the proffers from Mr. Fogelman, the evidence before us approved the transfer of ownership with continuation of live entertainment and outdoor table service. Good luck. Yes, good luck. No, is it for the record? Um, Mr. Fogel, please note that you'll be receiving information by mail as to the next steps to complete this application. Thank you very much. Mr. Ackert, does that complete our docket? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, that does complete the docket. Uh, the board will be in recess until June 11th, 2020. Thank you. Thank you to one and all. Yeah. Thank you. Well. Thank you.